Bon dia. <laughs> My name is Cyril Ofor. I'm a film composer and I'm in fest uh, in Spino. Very good. So, tell me, what did you came to Portugal, to Spino, do? What did you do here? Oh, here I, uh, I had a talk to do today uh, about about my, my job, my craft. Uh, so I, uh, I had a, a presentation of one hour and a half uh, about the, the, the job of film music composer. And so in the morning, I have this talk uh, with the audience. Yes. And what, uh, what was the most important thing that you wanted to talk to the audience? Um, well, my topic was, well, the, I think the most important for me, it was the relationship um, between the composer and the director. It's really important, you know, this kind of uh, what we call the, the circle of trust. And uh, of course, we, we talk about the role of the music because it's, it's, uh, it's the key in this job. And uh, so, yes, one hour and a half, it was, uh, yeah, it was a good, uh, good thing to talk about that. Uh, how do you do your job? How do you work? You receive images from the director and then you compose. You uh, have a meeting with the director and you talk about the script. It depends. It depends. Maybe uh, I, I will describe two cases. Okay. When, you, when you start working very early in the project, you know, before the shooting. So sometimes that happens. Maybe uh, sometimes six months before the shooting. Uh, during the, the writing of the script, so you have time to discuss with the director of, uh, about the musical way, about the aesthetics, and sometimes you are hired just after the shooting during the post-production, and sometimes close to the post-production. And, uh, well, its situation is different, and uh, uh, it has an impact on the way music is composed for me. I, I don't have the same approach when you are hired uh, just after the shooting, uh, because you have, you 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 need to compose a lot of music in a short time, and uh, you have very short time to to capture to catch the director um, director's expectation. So it's uh, it depends. But, but uh, you have to uh, use your sensibility to uh, to the, your feelings. You see the movie, and that is the main work that you do, it's compose or, or no, or you have a method? Um, yeah, I try to be instinctive, just, um, just for one reason, I think um, I try to always keep the primary feeling that I have during the, the, the first screening of a movie, even if it's a rough cut, uh, for two reasons, because uh, I remember a light motif that one of my teachers would tell me, take heed of your first impression because this is the right one. And, uh, I, uh, and the other reason is I, I think that the cinema is the, is the expression of a primary, uh, primary art. What gripes the audience is always the first, the primary feeling. And so I always try to work on, on that way, to, to be instinctive, um, because when you when you start working uh, on a movie, sometimes you can spend hours just for 40 or 50 seconds of music. And uh, it's uh, really easy to lose all objectivity and to, to get caught up in the details. And so uh, when, uh, uh, when I, I feel uh, that I, I'm too focused on the details, okay, I say, just take a step back and just try to remember the primary feeling that you have uh, yeah, that you have during the, 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 the first screening. Uh, um, it's, it's my way, it's my, uh, it's my approach of the music to try to, and sometimes it's really helpful just to, to take a step back. Working on something like March of the Penguins, um, it's not a musical, but the music is very, very, very important. Yes. Uh, it's a, a, a big job. Yes, it's a big job. It's quite, I think it's quite particular to, to work on the wildlife documentary because um, generally in, in documentaries such as um, March of the Penguin, uh, the story never follows a precise script because animals don't act. And, uh, and uh, generally, um, and, and so the, the story is built during the picture editing. 
and uh, what's the, tr the the tricky thing is every new cut can can tell um, a completely different story than the previous one and so you you need always to adapt the balance of all your tracks because the the order of uh, the sequences change continuously that's the tricky thing and it's always the same you need always to take a step back and to try to have a, a vision of the whole film that's that's difficult in one live documentary and it's quite different from fiction movie and the last idea of course it's uh, very often the music will do the narration yeah. do you think that composing music for films is different than composing your music your simple music Yes, I think so. Yeah, I think so because uh, when you when you compose music for the film, the form the form is imposed by yes. by the film. And uh, when you compose music for 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 concerts, uh, it's different. The time is different. The 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 just ah, I, I don't know how to say it. The, the timing uh, the timing is different. Um, Sometimes, you know, if you take a, a symphony, a very classical symphony, you have always this moment uh, in the middle of the part when you develop the idea. You, you are going to mix the, the theme, the, 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 you theme A and you theme B. You have all this, uh, this development process. In film, it's quite different. I think it's not the same way uh, to, uh, uh, to compose. And in film, uh, you have the dialogue, uh, you have the you have the acting, you have the sound, and you have the music. And music is sometimes it's just just a part of all these entire things. And in a concert piece, you have just only the music. You focus just on the music. So I think it's it's not the same approach for me. Just a, a question about the, the, this this new digital era. It's different composing music. Yeah, I think the the language change. The language change and uh, uh, and now yes um, we we involve um, there is a the um, huh, uh, the 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 process is in perpetual evolution and so uh, now uh, we mix uh, sometimes the orchestra the, the the acoustic things with the with some organic uh, element or with some. Uh, um, uh, electronic sound and uh, and uh, yes, the the the, the, mu the music changed, the language changed, but uh, I think the the cinema changed, the cinema changed uh, always. So uh, well, it's it's difficult to, to to take a step back because I think a lot of things are really intuitive, and uh, it has changed. I think. Just the final question about the, the festival and the Spinu. What do you think? Of uh, the it's a, no, it's a very cool festival because uh, uh, I uh, I met all types of personalities. So and uh, I think it's a very um, enriching experience uh, uh, to to talk to uh, to a writer and to a composer and to a filmmaker and to a, a picture editor uh, that come from all over the world. So. Uh, no, it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> Thank you. Man. No, no, I'm too bad. It's uh... no, no, no. no problem. It's